Oh, oh, there's a kaboom. There's a kaboom. Oh, oh, Clown is falling. He's gonna die. Oh. Uh, Unless he, like, lands on the lands roof of a church, church or something. Or something like that. I don't know. That seems very impractical, though. Like, very unlikely. <laughs> what are the odds that he lands on the roof of a church? Oh, someone's asking if he's all right. See, he's fine. He, he can hear people already. And he can talk. Clown is fine. He's fine. Oh, no, wait. He appears to be having this discussion with himself. Okay. Well. Well, maybe there, maybe there might be a problem then. Mm. That seems on brand for Clown. It sort of does. Don't worry about... Oh, oh, when the voice in your head starts identifying itself as a person other than yourself, then you got a problem. Then you got a problem. Because sometimes you can have like an, an inner monologue or even an inner dialogue where you're like talking through and I, talking through some options and you, you frame it as a conversation with yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done that and I'm not crazy, right? Anyway, uh, no comment. What, what's the uh, once the voice in your head starts identifying itself as a separate individual, then you've got some problems. Oh, it moved. Oh, oh hold on. Is it a corpse? Is there a is there a particular portion of clown's anatomy that? Never mind. Hi there. Outside people. Oh, don't talk to the voice in your head as though it's a different voice in your... Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, clown. Oh, what are the odds? He appears to have landed on the roof of a church. Good for him. And then fallen through the roof of said church. Well, you know. As one does. I guess the roof of the church broke his fall. This is a church. Uh, yeah. Are, are are we gonna say anything about the massive explosion that just happened above your head, hair lady? No. Yeah, you came. You were falling, and then you landed, crashing down. Is I, this is a nice church for a slum? This is big. There's so many windows. Mm -hmm. None of them are broken. The roof's a little broken. Okay, so there's one broken window in that there's a window in the roof that wasn't supposed to be a window. But hey, skylight, you know? The sky window. Exactly. Uh, yes, Clowned, you landed in the lady's flower bed. They're quite resilient because this... I, I, okay, it's a church. Sure. They say grass. Well, we haven't seen grass and flowers. Okay, so this is the, you've cornered the. Not only are flower. I understand the flowers are generally ubiquitous, but not only are they rare in Midgar, you have cornered the market on flowers. And she's selling them for one gill. This lady is so bad at capitalism. This lady is so bad at capitalism. Anyway, uh, our location is now noted as all lowercase church in the slums. I, how much is a gill in human money? I mean, I think it's like a cent, maybe. It, it, yeah, I think it's supposed to be like functionally sort of ish the equivalent of a yen. Like yeah. Phoenix Downs go for 300 gill. Potions go for 50. And potions are, they're already almost useless. We've been playing this game, dicking around mostly, for two and a half hours, and potions are just barely worth hanging on to still. Mm -hmm. So, hi there, chick. Clowned, of course, does not remember buying a flower from this girl the night he blew up a reactor two days ago. Or perhaps he does! You are the slum drunk. No. She was selling flowers. I bought one. I did not buy your flowers. Uh. 
I have some materia. They're they're fairly common. I mean, yeah, there's a dude with a goosebumps store in Midgar selling mm -hmm. materia. So your materia is good for absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's probably a support materia or something. No? Oh, maybe, okay, if it's literally good for nothing, maybe it's uh, throw. C can I throw shade at the throw materia in Final Fantasy VII? Uh, no, because throw gill, very oh. strong. Okay. By the um, end of the game, when you have so much fucking gill, it doesn't matter. It's really good. All right. Uh, let's try that again. Maybe uh, maybe your materia really is completely useless. Maybe it's Titan. Meh? Yeah. Meh? Yeah, Titan's pretty useless. It's okay. a shit summon. There you go. You feel like talking. I mean, I did just land on the roof of a church, but okay. Oh, you've got to check on your flowers. They appear to largely be flowers. Okay. Well, since you're just talking to the flowers or whatever, I guess, bye. Doot. Doot. No, is this not the event? I thought that was the advance the plot button. I guess you have to talk to her to advance the plot. Never mind, I came back. Let's talk. Just a little longer. I suppose we do not know each other's names. <laughs> oh, God. Her name is Eris, right? So. Right? Eris? So the way that her name is spelled in Japanese, mm -hmm. it ends with the same character that Sephiroth does. That's true. So if she is Eris, he is Sephiroth. Which is dumb. Which Yes. It makes it seem like he's the. It makes him seems like he's uh, David Schwimmer. Yeah. He, he's on Friends. He's an archae. He's a paleontologist. So. I don't think we should do that. Canonically, and like in every subsequent piece of material, mm -hmm. she is Aerith. That makes sense. Therefore, henceforth, this is Aerith's. <laughs> This is Aerith's, the flower girl. It's nice to meet you. My name's Cloud. <laughs> what a couple of gems. Mm -hmm. I, I, I should have named her Eric just so that the shippers would be saying that they want to play a cleric in Dungeons and Dragons. But, you know. The way I've done it instead... Um, my ship is going to be the Clofowl ship, which... <laughs> it's a bad day for a ship, but... Or they just, you know, since there's no TI, it's just T and they're the Clot ship. That's also yeah. bad. That's also bad. Also, hey, look, there's a man in a weird suit. I do whatever's needed. That's, um, hmm. Oh, hey. Blue shoe gang. Don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me. <laughs> There's no it to get to me. Hi there. Don't mind. Don't mind me. Okay, fine. We won't mind you. Bastard. Have I ever been a bodyguard? I mean, I'm big and tough and strong and materia having and I have a gigantic sword. I guess I could. Okay. Um... Listen, this man just walked into your church and now you want a bodyguard. This man is apparently bad news. And yet Cloud is here extorting her for money. <laughs> Cloud, you know she can't have a lot. She sells flowers for a gill. Maybe he wants two flowers. Or maybe. Have we considered the possibility that Aerith's is completely and totally loaded? Like, mm. consider the evidence here. And we're going to incorporate some things that we learn in a minute or two. Aerith's apparently owns, or at least is the sole maintainer keeper person, of this gigantic, beautiful church, right? Which does not have, like, 
active parishioners or anything. Mm -hmm. There's no massive congregation funding it through donations. It appears to just be her private greenhouse, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Additionally, she has a big house with a fucking spring in the middle of Midgar, okay? Like, just down the road, she has a big fancy house with a fucking spring and an enormous garden in the middle of Midgar. And she apparently spends all of her free time cultivating these flowers, which she then sells for a gill. We know, just based on living and having seen the rest of the people in and around Midgar, that money is a thing. People need money to live. There are taxes and roads and society and trains and whatever. So Aerith's must need to have money. And yet, she does nothing to make money. So the only logical explanation is that Aerith's is completely and totally loaded. Or perhaps mm -hmm. that Aerith's mom is completely and totally loaded. And Aerith's is just a fucking Nepo baby. She's the Max Landis of Midgar. Oh, this completely changes my belief in the character. And despite clearly having all of this money, she thinks the greatest, richest prize she can give to this mercenary is going out on a date with him one time. Which, come to think of it, is another trait of a person who has a fuckload of money. She doesn't yep. think of money as valuable because she has a fuckload of it. Who cares about money? Here, I don't care about money, but my, per time. my personal time, energy, company, and the rare chance that you might get to boink me? That's valuable. Now, now protect me from this blue-suited ruffian. Ow. Itchy beard. Oh, camera changed. I don't know who you are, but I might get to boink this chick, so get out of my friend's church! Wait a I second. I don't know you. You don't know me. Oh, oh wait. I do know you. Oh, yeah, I do know you. Never mind. Never mind that thing I said. I know you. You're wearing a uniform. Oh, and you have mooks. Incidentally, another fantastic piece of music in this fantastic yep. video game. You guys, uh, you probably don't know that you have no chance against me, but you have no fucking chance against me. Oh. We'll ruin the flowers if we fight here. <laughs> Sports pun. Um, without getting too far into spoilers, Final Fantasy VII really, really wants you to like Aerith's. Yeah. Like, a lot. Like. Anyway. The exit is back here. Now Reno just traipses across the flowers. He's not hes not so much tiptoeing through the tulips as he is just stomping everything that grows. He's trouncing through the tulips. That's true. It's better. Yours was better. Oh, and uh, don't step on the flowers. So he's, uh, he's also a hypocrite. He'll he's going to catch holy, holy hell. hell. So one of my favorite things about the remake is when you fight Reno in the church, you can go onto the flowers and Aerith will yell at you. She'll be like, hey, stop that. And if you keep doing that, she will tell you, you're going to catch holy hell. That is tremendous. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I know in the past people have gotten concerned that I'm not like properly taking care of myself during these subathons. Parlor Ghost is often reminding us to hydrate, that sort of thing. So I want everybody, I want to assuage some concerns right here. We're coming up on three hours into the subathon. Don't worry, I have a proper, dedicated nutrition regiment 
prepared to last me the entire weekend if I need. I'm afraid. Would you like to hear about it? Sure. I have How bad can it be? I have retrieved for myself a Coke Zero. Of course. And two Frosted Not Cherry Pop-Tarts. So we're just fine. Naturally. Not one, but two Frosted Cherry Pop-Tarts. Nutritional Supplement of Champions. Trombone Dalek has not yet finished seven. The camera angles mess with your head. Yeah. I understand that. I understand yes, that. Some of the uh, the angles are uh, wonky. Listen, I have Nutrigrain bars. I even have like quick microwavable food food. But th the pop tarts were funny, so we went for the pop tarts. All right, now, um, not to spoil anything or anything, but there's going to be some fighting happening soon. So. One thing you can do is go into the materia, and you may have noted uh, all of the uh, all of the materia that Barrett and T and Tfal just had. Apparently, they plucked it out of their weapons and armor and hurled it down onto the roof of the church, so that Cloud Seems could like have access idea. to it. Yeah, it's like I I almost understand it with the restore. Like, well, if he survives that, he's gonna need this Cloud catch. <laughs> but they hucked all of their materia down down the hole uh we also picked up by the way uh we picked up a titan bangle which is a good thing because it has more materia slots and more defense so yeah Aerith's is gonna have that uh we equipped that we already accidentally gave her the fire materia but we'll all go ahead and give her ice and restore so now she can uh, set things on flame she can freeze them to death and she can cure herself when she inevitably gets whacked. You may note a few things about Aerith's. One, she has like nine hit points. That's yep. true. It's unfortunate. She's very squishy. And on a related note, she starts in the back row. Yep. Sunflare Space, uh, sports pun. It's important to note that Sunflare Space is Dutch. So they have like real food and consumer protection laws. Yep. Also, it makes sense that they give Parlor Ghost headaches because these things are basically just sugar bombs. So, you know. Anyway. It always we, looks like it's such a long jump that Cloud is able to easily clear. Indeed. You know? That was a very long, just standing broad jump Cloud did. It's almost as if Cloud was in Soldier, which is impressive or something. Oh no, they're over here. Cloud, that one. What? <laughs> which one? The, the guy in the suit? I, yeah. We, we either run or we fight. I guess we fight. Nope, we run. Why do we run? Okay, just and because- Aerith is like, uh, uh, no, man, I got noodle likes. Also, Clown is the one who says he'll hold them off. If you wanted to hold them off, why didn't you go charge them with your sword? Buddy? Clown is not very smart. Clearly not. Also, yeah. Aerith falls down the convenient slide. They never should have fought us. Oh, hi. Damn. Oh, wait. There's a silly mini game up there. So what you can do in the speed run here, mm -hmm. we, um, there are three times where Aerith needs help. So the first time we tell her to fucking run. The second time, we push a barrel onto the guy. And the third time, we tell her to run. And we only push a barrel on the third time because if you tell her to run, she cannot run. And you get into a fight. Fights are slow. Well, fights are fun, though. I if just you gave you materia. Her, set them on fire. If you want to make her angry, what you can do is... um. 
you could give say, her a hyper. Oh yeah, I'll help you. I'll help you. And you push a barrel, and it's the wrong fucking barrel. And she says, "What the fuck are you doing, you fucking idiot?" So you may notice that uh, Aerith's rod here does fourteen damage, which is unfortunate. Now, she probably wants a bologna sandwich, but instead, we're going to set this motherfucker on fire. That was a joke, by the way, for one person in the stream, and I am proud to report that they got it. Sadly, the rod did not do 13 damage, but, you know, you make do with what you got, I suppose. Anyway, uh, so yes, um, while you're running around, by the way, as clowned, you can get jumped by these fuckers. These fuckers are annoying. Uh, they'll give you the fury status, which means you can't hit shit, but you do get limit breaks faster, which is nice. It's useful in times, but uh, here we're just going to call lightning from the heavens in the roof of this church, and it's going to be totally fine. Don't question the magic. Instead, we get a potion, and we just kind of kind of dick around. I think maybe something is happening off screen that we can't see, and eventually Aerith finds herself over here and is yep. like, Clown, help! And uh, let's demonstrate what I'm pretty sure is the wrong barrel. We go over here. Uh, we push the wrong barrel. Nothing fucking happens. Aerith's is what like, what the, the fuck, fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Let me set this man on fire and then scold you some more. Hold on. He sicked his dogs on us who had the kindness and decency to turn around first. The dogs were distracted by the barrel. Clearly. Absolutely. Also, this puppy just bit me for two damage. Bad dog. Not a fan of that. Victory for Aerith's. 40 whole experience for her. Good job. And now Clown has to run around for a minute, waiting for shit to fall. Oh, look! There's a dude on the stairs! Alright, we'll show it off one time. If you push the right barrel... Uh, you push the barrel, and it fucks over the dude, and the dude's like, oh, I got hit by a barrel. I got thwacked by a barrel, now I definitely can't kill this girl. And she's all happy, and she runs, and she makes the broad jump like nothing. And now we can run off this way. Bye! Just straight leap out to the roof. These guys are the Turks, apparently. They're a Shinra organization. They're basically the... They're Shinra's dirty, doing business mooks. Yeah. yeah. They're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. They're like the, the Shinra NSA. The Shinra CIA. Pick, pick a secret organization. Their Shinra's that. There must be why a reason. Why are they after you, Aerith? And why did they... maybe they want flowers? Maybe they want flowers. Maybe you robbed them. Who's to maybe say? Maybe because maybe because she's so rich, she hasn't been paying her goddamn taxes. Also, she can't actually... She got noodle legs. Yeah. Sportsman has a point that if she's that rich, they don't care about her taxes because... Eh, true. Maybe she's, like, borderline. Like, fucking loaded for everyone else in the slums. Mm. But technically middle class by Shinra standards. Right. So she still owes taxes. <laughs> she's a tax dodge from the plate who ran down to the slums for a better life. And by better, yep. she means hiding from the government. Mm -hmm. Cloud's eyes have a strange glow Which is something they do for Soldier Also, Aerith appears to know an awful lot about Soldier For some reason Hmm Hmm Maybe Aerith is borderline Yeah Nah. <laughs> Aerith's is this close to saying that she finally got off. Had to make the joke. It was right there, after all. Hurry before they come. 
Now, of course, there's nothing stopping you from just... Okay, there is something stopping you. It's called monsters. By the way, look, dudes. Oh. These dudes suck. So there is a... Um, it's a complicated glitch that you can do with those guys. But they steal shit from you. Mm -hmm. uh, they can steal power sources um, from you which are things that increase your stat permanently. There is a glitch where using their stealing function, you can, uh, you can get an infinite number of sources. That's really it's good. Long and complicated, and it sucks, and I've never done it. But also, I, I don't have any power sources, so... Nope. Uh, but I'm sure I we could have up. one. Anyway. We are, we are stuck. So out here, um, this is not the way the game intends for you to go. But you can just kind of get this nice little screen, which I'm sure is never going to come up again ever in the history of the game, ever, ever, forever, never. Uh, but it shows that in addition to there being a massive fucking plate above the people who live in the slums of the city of Midgar, there is apparently a goddamn fence with a locked gate and no attendant who won't open it to keep people out of the city of Midgar and to keep the people who live in the city of Midgar in the city of Midgar. Mm -hmm. There is no way to leave Midgar. But anyway, we're supposed to go this way. And there's a save point here, hooray. It has been a minute since we saved. I could even say that it's been a nice since we saved, but that would give away what the nice <laughs> reward does. So, uh, you come out to this forking path right here, and that is not a good place where it is literally a path that branches off in two directions. One way is blocked by these guys playing Magic the Gathering or something. Guys, can I... Hold on. Yeah, I want to just... I want to just tap your dragon for... Okay, fine. Uh, oh, look, it's these guys. Fuck them. Uh, here, can you cure Cloud of his no damage? Thanks. And then Cloud can lightning these bastards, and they'll both die. Hooray! Parlo Ghost has redeemed. Nice. I'm sorry, cure Cloud. Sports pun. Thank you for correcting me. I, I have been getting that wrong. Yeah, that's a, that's a song in the musical about Magic the Gathering. We're gonna tap your dragon mouth face. We're gonna, We're gonna trap, trap your, dra your dragon mouth face. We're gonna tap your dragon mouth face. Until the day you die. Thank you. Additionally, uh, Sports Bun has redeemed... Actually, no, Parlor Ghost has redeemed. Nice, let's do something nice. Nice! That nice. was Nice. Okay, so these two guys here are playing Magic the Gathering, and we can't possibly disrupt their game, so we're not allowed to go that way. I guess let's go this way instead. And now, it is time to discuss one of the great tragedies of the fact that we are not playing the original Final Fantasy VII. In the original Final Fantasy VII, this pipe leads to a room where this guy R sick. This guy R sick. I mentioned that the original Final Fantasy VII was ever so slightly poorly translated. Just a little bit. And this pipe held a gentleman who were sick. And now, with the PC version and the Steam version, and the redesign of that, and the importing to the, to, to the PlayStation 4, Circle Master says, it's almost like they were localizing two games at once. And yes, yes, they were. And they localized yeah. them both poorly. <sighs> this guy is sick. Fine, Aeriths. I guess this guy is sick. F's in the chat for the fate of this guy R sick. 
he passed out nearby. Someone must have helped him here. Anyway, also, this guy is kind of a mildly important character in that he's the introduction to the main villain's main plan. So, you know. You know, no big deal. It's kind of a big deal that you see this guy, so I understand why they fixed the translation. Uh, Moni Groenman over here is not happy. Won't you help him? I, I don't know how to help him. Would he like a potion? I have potions. I could give him a potion. Oh, he has a tattoo of the number two. That's a weird tattoo for a man who are sick to have. Anyway, bye. No matter what you ask him, he only says, Ugh, which is bad. Listen, sports bun, things can look like numbers, but also be symbols in other languages. Superman's thing isn't an S, even though it's totally an S. Hey, you sell materia. That's nice. You can buy all sorts of materia if you like. I'm going to pick myself up a second cure because why not? It's good to have multiple people who can cure things. Materia are ever so slightly pricey, though, so... Also, I don't think I... Oh, I do have the slots. Here, Cloud, you can also be a restory guy. Now, again, that does mean that Cloud has a little bit less HP and a little bit less strength and a little more magic and a little more MP. And I guess, theoretically, if you really, really leaned into it, you might feel that, but... You're never going to feel that. Yeah. Thank you, Materia guy. You there, adjacent shop. Are you weapon guy? No, you're item guy. Girl, whatever. Uh, you have potions. I'm good on potions. Actually, I think it's time to sell the potions. I've got 16 potions. I can get 25 gil a pop for them. The, you know, 270 gil or whatever I'd get for that is worth more than 16 potions. <laughs> Also, uh, give me two tenths, just in case we get, we need to relax. People might say we're two tenths. Now, T Flower, wow. you you can't hear the drops, but I hope you know which drop I just hit. Yeah. Okay. I can I can feel it in my soul. Thank you. Four hundred gil for the sixteen potions. That sounds nice. Also, uh, this old bronze bangle that Aerith said. Aerith swore this bangle with her her entire life, her whole adult life. This bronze bangle was passed down to her by her great 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 grandmother. It has been in her family for generations, but it's not as good as the Titan bangle we just gave her. So we're gonna hawk it for fifty gil. Yep. Sports Pun has Goog stream drops in his soul. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. All right, you there. Are you the weapon guy? No, you're a guy who lives here, guy. Everything President Shinra says is a lie, but you can't trust Avalanche either. The truth is somewhere in the middle. Buy my new newspaper, The New York Times. You never lie to yourself, okay? Hi there, tiny child. Oh, tiny child appears to be drinking something. No one will find the thing you have. You have a thing. Tiny child is taking a tiny because they are a tiny child. He has a hidden drawer. There's five gill in this drawer. Money for me! No. No, leave it. That's his, that's his whole life savings. We shall leave. Shall leave the tiny child with his tiny pittance of money. Uh, you should check out his posters. Should check out his posters. Oh, right. Oh, right. I forgot about the tiny child and the posters and the stupid turtle paradise. Oh, the turtle paradise. It's a fun little thing. We might find all of them. We probably won't. I'll probably forget one at some point. For a delicious wine with a nice zing, stop by the Turtle's Paradise. 
By the way, there are like six of these in the whole game. If you find all six, also, they're all tucked into weird random rooms like this. If you find all six of the Turtles Paradise posters, you get, I don't know, is it like a complete set of sources? Yeah, it's something like that. You get some marginally useful trinket of a prize in roughly 15 hours of gameplay if you hustle. Like, if you I... really hustle, you'll see the results of that in 15 hours. My favorite part about the whole Turtles Paradise thing is this is obviously an advertisement for the Turtles Paradise. Mm -hmm. The Turtles Paradise is in Wutai, which is all the way across the fucking globe. Imagine mm -hmm. walking down the street in Western Massachusetts uh -huh. and you find an advert for a place in Japan. Point of order. This is closer to living in New York City and seeing ads for Dubai. Yeah. If you ride the subway in New York City, you will absolutely see ads for buildings in Dubai. You will absolutely see that. So I understand your point. I understand your point. The Turtles Paradise is a, is a thousand quadrillion miles away from here, but it kind of almost makes sense a little. Yeah. Have we been given any accessories yet? No, we have not. No. There are accessories in this game. You just can't use them yet. They're, they're like, here, don't worry about it. It's fine. Well, you can use them. You just don't have any, right? It's true. Oh, by the way, you remember when we were talking about Aerith's having this giant fucking house? Look at this giant fucking house. She's got this giant fucking house. She's got her own lake. She's got a private goddamn waterfall. Mm hmm And so many fucking flowers. So many flowers. So many plants. She's just leaving booze and materia in her garden. Uh, the cover materia is quite good, particularly for this exact moment in this exact game, because what it does is it lets you take hits for people who are squishy. So you can have, say, Cloud cover Aerith's, or mm -hmm. later you can have Barrett from the back row cover people in the front row. Mm hmm. And the cover two materia is pretty good in Madden. I don't have a. Imagine a drop that just goes dun 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 dun. dun. We're gonna play that drop right now. Thank you, Samurai Sam. Oh, we'll save here. We have successfully gotten Aerith's home. It was fun having you in our party, Aerith's, but now you are home and we will never see you again. Goodbye, Aerith's. It was great to know you. I mean, I, I, okay, Sports Fun has a point. I could probably use a drop that's just a da 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 da, -da or something, probably more than, say, I, I have a button that plays that. Um, I have a button that plays this. I never use this button. I have a button that plays this. which is good for a vague pop and lock dance, but other than that, it's just, it's just silly sweater vest music. So I could probably do with refreshing some of my buttons. Also, I have a button that does this. Now you all also have a button that does that, but you know, I'll leave it as an exercise to the viewer to figure out how to make this sound. Samurai Sam asks, if I don't beat the game during the subathon, am I going to stream the rest of it at another time? I'm not planning to, to be perfectly honest. But listen, if people want, I will include it as one of the polls for the next Choose This Game poll. We could finish Final Fantasy VII on Thursday nights for some reason. Yeah, sure. I do intend to chop up the subathon and put it on YouTube if it winds up being fun. And it has been fun, so... Oh, Sports Pun figured it out. Sports Pun cheered one bit. Thank you, Sports Pun. Which, incidentally, uh, the Cleveland Guardians could score a run. That makes that sound play. Sports Pun, by cheering one bit, you have added 
two seconds to the timer. <laughs> that's right, right? That, that's correct. One bit is two seconds. One bit is two seconds. Thank you, sports pun. Now, of course, we spent 10, 15 seconds talking about it and longer now, but anyway. <sighs> T-Flower, are you still here or are you marveling at, uh, the, yes, at, at what the stream has degraded into? I am just sitting back and watching. <laughs> Uh, this is Clowned. He's Aerith's bodyguard. Trombone Dalek cheered five bits. Thank you for the five bits, Trombone Dalek. Wapoosh. We add that time. Twitch should be, uh, should be saying that, shouldn't it? Hold on. Twitch alerts. Why aren't you uh, doing the thing I thought you would do? Dude. Uh, visuals and sound. Yes, I am going all the way down into this right now. Show cheer message. Uh, yeah, say alert text. There we go. That's the thing I needed to do. Say alert text, save changes. 1,000 bits, say alert text, save changes. There. We fixed the bits. Hooray. Who is this person? Uh, oh, some, some uh, spam bot spammed me in PMs. That was annoying. Uh, this is what Goog, this is what Goog chooses to spend time with. <laughs> Thank you for the five bits, Trombone Dalek. Uh, I don't remember. Did I add 10 seconds to the stream already? I think you did, but I don't know. Well, fuck it. I'll do it again. We spent more than 10 seconds dicking around with the Twitch alerts, so we can afford to do that. Uh, while I'm here, I'm just going to refresh the cache of that so that we make sure it plays next time. Okay. Spam bots also consume tangible resources, sports pun, so you're at least on level footing. Samurai underscore Sam just cheered one bits. Cloud was wowed and bowed in a shroud in the crowd as he vowed loud as was allowed and endowed. He wasn't proud. Thank you, Samurai Sam, adding two seconds to the stream with your single solitary bit. Incredible. <laughs> you were followed again. Are you all right? New voice is not nearly as great as the old voice. Well, you know what, Sam? I can change the voice. Let's see. Oh, God, there are so many voices. Okay, there's one of these named Ivy. There's one of these named Matthew. Do we want Geraint from Wales? T-Flower, help me choose a voice. Mm. Let me, let me read you. Good. I'm going to read you this list of names and you're going to pick one, okay? Okay. Ivy, Joanna, Joey, Justin, Kendra, Kimberly, Matthew, Nicole, and Russell. Nicole and Russell are Australian. Aditi and Ravina are Indian. And then there's Amy, Brian, and Emma from UK. There's Grant from Wales and Sally. Where's Sally from? Doesn't say. Let's go with Sally. Please welcome the new voice of all of the bit redemptions just as soon as I change it and save it for all of them. Uh, this is this is going to be Sally. Doot and doot and doot. And then come back over here and click this and right click that. Sports pun just shared one bit. Mystery Sally. Incredible. Thank you, sports pun. I clicked refresh just as it was reading your text. So oops. But uh, wow. two more seconds I'm on so the time. You. <laughs> I we're doing good you work don't here. Have any bits? Don't have zero bits. Understandable. Samurai underscore Sam just shared one bit. Cloud was wowed and bowed in a shroud in the crowd <laughs> as he vowed loud as was allowed and endowed. He wasn't proud. He was not proud. Parlor ghost just shared one bit. Hi, my name is Sally. It's two more seconds for Sam and two more seconds for for Parlor Ghost. These these uh these bit bots are really insistent that Cloud is bowing, which What is I Cloud gonna do he, here? I didn't know he was a uh, a plane. Well, you know. Maybe he's an archer. <laughs> is T a girl? No. 
It's a cookware brand. Keep up. Sam, I don't know what the lady was before. It, it didn't used to have all of these options. Maybe they replaced it. I, I, I do not know. Is she a girl? Dot, dot, dot. Friend? I mean... I, listen, we can be aspirational here. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Aerith's did not just redeem nice, though. It's very important. Parlor Ghost has redeemed nice. There. Let's do something nice. Let's do something nice. Nice! Nice! That was nice. <laughs> Trombo Dalek is... Okay, Parlor Ghost is demanding that we switch to the Welsh voice, which, I mean, listen, if it causes people to, to donate more bits, I'm not gonna stop you. Here, let's go to the cheering section. Can I change all of these at the same time? I can. All right, this is Geraint the Welsh voice. If I save those changes, boom, and then I come back in here and we properties, uh, refresh the cache, boom, there. Now there's a good way to hear the voice. Wait, does it play a different voice when people sub? It might play a different voice when people sub. Shit. I need to change that too then. Uh, doot and doot and where is the... No, wait. If we unclick this... Trombone Dalek just cheered one bit. Welsh bot. Welsh bot! A Welsh bot from Trombone Dalek. Thank you, Trombone Dalek. There. The Welsh bot is now active for the subscriptions as well. Holy ghost just cheered one bit. The people have spoken. The people have spoken. The people have spoken. People have spoken one bit from Trombone Dalek, one bit from Parlor Ghost. Samurai underscore Sam just cheered one bit. Cloud was wowed and bowed in a shroud in the cloud. He, he bowed loud as was allowed and endowed. He wasn't proud. <laughs> no, blame it. One bit from Parlor Ghost gets two seconds on the timer. One bit from Trombone Dalek gets... Hold on, the timers are not that fast. Two more seconds on the timer. And one bit from Samurai Sam gets two seconds on the timer. Oh god, we've been in this fucking girl's living room for ten minutes. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? Yeah, I'm so glad that we have speedrun royalty T-Flower here with us. <laughs> T-Flower, is this still the run? <laughs> We're st we're under time, right? We're, we're, this is going to be a gold split, I think. Uh, no? It's a gold split in your heart. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <sighs> it's also what happens when you get stabbed with a railroad spike. But anyway. Uh, Clou Clown doesn't <laughs> want to get help from a girl. Parlor Ghost asks what she has to do to add 69 minutes, which, listen, you know exactly what you have to do. <laughs> it just costs channel points. Yeah, Aerith's is not standing up for, Cloud's casual, ca for Clown's casual misogyny, which is good. At least someone is. Yeah, he's got that toxic mask cloud divinity going for him. That was bad. And it was. It. <laughs> Listen, there's, in Valkyria Chronicles 4, you've got Raz, okay? And he lends himself to toxic masculinity very well. Oh, if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. All right. She tells Aerith to go make the bed. Hey, Clowned hasn't slept in a bed in at least three days. Hi there. By the way, your name is Elmira, and she knows about Soldier, which is not necessarily secret, but definitely uh, interesting that this random chick's lady, this random chick's random mom lady, knows about Soldier. Mm-hmm. You used to, Clowned used to be in Soldier. Uh, Elmira is like, listen, buddy, I don't want to tell you to get lost or nothing, but... Get the fuck lost! 
and and Clound is uh, Clound is on board with this plan. Actually, Clound does not desire to be helped by a girl. Yeah, the last thing Aerith needs to get hurt again. Oh, Ghosty has not slept more than two hours. You need to get more sleep. Come back, Parlor Ghost. Listen, we are going to be here for another five and a half hours if nobody does Please. nothing. So, presumably, hopefully, somebody will do something. But also, go, sleep, rest. No one is obligated to be here if they do not wish to be here. But also, <laughs> I enjoy having people here. Thank you for being here, Parlor Ghost. Get some sleep. You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous. All right, fine. Trombone Dalek just cheered one bit. Something. Two seconds added to the timer from Trombone Dalek cheering one bit. Thank you, Trombone Dalek. Aerith has taken off. I'm pretty tired. It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's been like two days. The last time he slept, he slept up against a pipe. That's true. There were milk crates and soggy boxes and a punching bag. Uh, I think that is, uh, that's, that appears to be a bit emote. That's a Twitch thing that Trombone Dalek did. That is that is not a channel specific thing. That is a Twitch and Bits specific thing, apparently. Oh, oh! Flashback Take in Final Fantasy VII. Drink. Everybody, drink. Parlor Ghost just cheered one bit. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Two more seconds from Parlor Ghost. Thank you, Ghosty. Hi, Clown's mom. Clown's mom, do you have a name? I don't think Clown's mom ever gets a name, does she? Uh, no. I think at the remake they name her Claudia, which is... <laughs> it's cute. It, it, it's on the nose. Her name is Momd. <laughs> yeah, her name is Momd. Okay. So mom add mom added a D to become Momd and then named her boy Cloud with an M to become Clowned. Okay, fair. Mom Dio. All right. Cloud Dio. Oh, you should have an older girlfriend, one who's just like your mom. That's not creepy at all, Mom. Clowned is not interested in that. All right. Oh, fell asleep. Over the covers and with your shoes on. What the fuck, clowned? Seriously. All right. Be sure to get that care package by the door. Yep, yep. First of all, there is a potion and a phoenix down right by the door here. That was nice. This is Elmira leaving us a package in case we fucking die. Hopefully some random passerby will use the phoenix down on us instead of just looting it. But anyway... Do you remember earlier in this stream when I said that 99% of the time it didn't really matter if you ran? Mm hmm This is the 1%. For if you just bolt out this door right here, you wake Aerith. up Aerith's. And she's like, oh my god, there were loud footsteps in my house. I thought someone was breaking in. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. So Aerith's will not allow you to leave unless you very slowly tiptoe. I don't know if you have to go all the way out here. I think it's also if you go right by her door. But you definitely yeah. do need to take this slow and just walk down the stairs. I'm pretty sure there's either like a creak in the floorboard uh, in front of her house, her door, or it um, the sound of footsteps right outside her door freaks her out. Yes. Now that you're downstairs, however, the danger is gone and you can just uh, 
You can just run around with impunity. You can rattle all the pots and pans in the kitchen. You can open and close the very fancy cabinet doors. You can wonder where the hell Elmira went. Um, you can examine the top of their gigantic box TV. Look at this gigantic box TV. It took me like three min three seconds of looking at this to realize that it wasn't a toaster oven. Because with modern sensibilities yeah. of what televisions look like, this looks like a fucking toaster oven. It's a TV. But hey, we're done. We have left Aerith's in the dust, surely never to be seen again. Let us save once more. Okay. And now it is early morning in Sector 6. All of the shops are still there if you want to shop. This guy over here are still sick, but we've already seen him. So we can just go. And finally, blessedly, mercifully... Oh, Aerith's is here. I was going to say that the game of Magic the Gathering has wrapped up, but actually, Aerith's is just a psychic ninja teleport, and she can psychically ninjally teleport. So, that's a good thing for a person to be able to do, I guess. She's like, are you done? Are you done? Shut the fuck up. <sighs> Whatever you say, Earth. Onward! Through a fun little roady dungeon. With, so like, this branching paths. That one hand thing that Cloud is standing on mm -hmm. is the entire basis for the Sector 6 section in Remake. That's where true. You've got the, the hand robots and shit. I never really put those oh. two together until just now. Also, Clown is dead. Good night, so. Clown. If uh, your characters are dead, they don't get experience or AP. That's true. And also, if Not everybody good. dies, you fucking lose. So. Yep. I just came perilously close to fucking losing, actually. It's fine. We're fine. Aerith's can cure Cloud and herself. So yeah, you remember the whole hand puzzle thing in the remake? It's because of this section right here. These With goddamn the crane cranes. And the hand. Yup. That's it. And now we're here. Oh no, whatever will I do? Bitch. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Get yourself home, lady. Oh, she thinks we're taking her to... Whatever. Oh, you want to take a break in the playground. Okay, fine, but I'm getting the sense material, which is the one I should have said was the useless one earlier. Uh, it doesn't spawn until later. Well, shit. I still got to call the sense material useless, so good for me. Yeah. Hey, look, a slide. For those not in the know, Sense will tell you an enemy's HP, MP, and any notable weaknesses, as well as its level. Um, it does not work if the HP is over a certain value, which a lot of enemies actually are. I think it's like 10,000. That it's like, I guess. That's a up. lot of enemies. Yeah. That's like most bosses and also like. Toward the end of disc three, that's just yeah. any random encounter. Yeah, it's it's a lot of enemies that it just does not work on because the HP value is too high. And it's like, oh. But I mean, who uses sense? Oh, what was his name? Sadly, wretchedly, we don't get to name this man. I want you all to know, and I will try to remember this myself, in our hearts, this man's name is Zamk. Hmm. But his name doesn't matter now. Trombone Dalek finally took turns on BGA, which is good. I 
feel silly, and maybe you've talked about this before, but what is BGA? That feels like an initialism I should know, and yet I don't. Meanwhile, while we wait for that answer, Clound is noticing something on the back of this chocobo-driven carriage. It's T-Fall. It's T-Fall, wearing a dress. Board game arena, that's right. She looked kind of odd. Hmm. Well, we better go run after the chocobo. Oh my god, I just realized the Paro Ghost is going to miss possibly the weirdest, grossest part of Final Fantasy VII. Yep. Oh well. So you remember how, like, two hours ago or something like that, I said, hey, there's a skip where you can get to this part of the game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where that skip would spit you out. Just right here. Nice! So that skips the entire second reactor sequence. Mm -hmm. Uh... Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it also skips... Well, if you do it later, it skips... Uh, you can get the Materia tutorial and unlock that, so you aren't locked out of Materia. Oh, God. But yeah, that is, that is a sizable skip of the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This place is scary in a lot of ways. We've got to find T-Fowl fast. Oh, boy. So this is Wall Market. If you've played the remake, you might have an idea of what we're in for. If you haven't, hoo-hoo, boy! Well, buckle up, Chuck <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I've noticed, Sports Pun, that at least the caption plugin I have for OBS is actually pretty good. Now, granted, it did just call you Sports Fun, so, you know. Anyway. This dude can't make up his mind about what? It's the shop down on the right. Well then. Oh look, it um, hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hi Johnny. He gets so mental at times like this. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah, me too. I'm t -Fowl's childhood friend. I brought a new girlfriend to... Okay, apparently that's a bad oh. thing for a guy to do. <laughs> All right. Uh, listen, why are these two guys doing the potty dance? Is, is this just a public bathroom? Do you, do you have to poo, my guy? This ain't no effing show. He's busy. Okay. What about you, soldier man? Things aren't working out. Oh... Okay. Hello, portly gentleman. Even unpopular dudes dweebs like you. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, we appear to have found the whorehouse. Let us ask the apparent manager of the whorehouse if he knows our friend. As luck would have it. The apparent manager of the apparent whorehouse knows our friend. Oh. Oh, but she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, all the new girls are taken to Don Corneo's mansion. And yes, it is Corneo and not Corneo remake. I don't actually have strong feelings about this. I just always said Corneo. Hmm. He's a famous dilettante. Now he wants to settle down and marry a girl. Also, members <laughs> only. All right, fine. Is there no, like, how do I become a member? Let me, let me become a, where is your membership application? Like, Costco is members only, but it also has the membership applications right there. Let me be a, ah, fine. I'll buy my ridiculously cheap burger buns elsewhere. Circle Master says it's actually pronounced Cornholio, well, which I am all in favor of endorsing. Only if he needs TP for his bunghole. Alright, so this shop is helpfully labeled. It sells items. Uh, that shop appears to sell traffic lights or... Oh, actually, this is a pill. I don't think I've ever seen this game at quite this uh, 
quite this high resolution. I've never identified that this rug has a pill on it, meaning that this is the pharmacy. That actually makes sense. Did Gook just compare the whorehouse to Costco? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, I did. Negatively, I might add. I said Costco does a thing that the whorehouse doesn't. Like. Maybe it's like one of those exclusive memberships where you have to like get invited in, you know? Mm. Like they don't just want anyone going to their whorehouse. Mm. They want to know <laughs> they want someone the vouches for you. The... Yes, only truly appropriate gentlemen might join the prostitute society. <laughs> Sorry. I almost got that out with a straight face. Oh, Samurai Sam notes that they're cost course, which, oh, that's better than cost ho. I'm sorry. It's better. <laughs> Listen, people will do a lot of things for bulk savings. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, hi there, item shop. You sell items. It's staffed with cost cubites. And one of its competitors is BJ's. <laughs> <laughs> what does this say about Sam's Club? <laughs> Only people who are named Sam are allowed in. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I picked up a potion at some point. I should probably sell that. Also, there are items that undo statuses. I would buy some of them, but I only have like 600 money because I keep buying other things. High potions exist now, which is nice. There's a safe point here. Sports fun, we are all about the low hanging fruit. The high hanging fruit requires ladders and reaching. Mm -hmm. Who's got time for that? Okay. So, uh, this place over here is just a big shop with no importance whatsoever. Hello, lady in a hat. Don't push, hooligan. All right, fine. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push. Not a hooligan. Butthead. All right, this appears to be a generic clothing store that's modeled for no particular reason. <laughs> this game has some strong language sports fun. It's rated M for a reason. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I might have pointed this out earlier. Sunflare Space has been amusing herself through for like an hour, just hitting bang quote over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. I love it. The, the, I mean, you say a lot of dumb shit. <laughs> that's a true you fact. Know? Here is a here is an honest to god truth about the underscore gook. There are very few things that make me laugh as much as me, which is probably the most egotistical thing I've ever said. Yeah. I'm funny to me, damn it. All of this belongs to the owner of the weapon shop, and he keeps chucking. Keeps. Oh, the owner who has a tank in his shop. I see. Now, you'd think that that would be right here. Like, this shop right here would be the weapon shop? No, the weapon shop is up here. So, this guy has this shop here with all of this garbage, and he also apparently either owns or has commandeered this plot of land here so as to chuck more of his garbage. I mean, you can tell that it's a, uh, a, a weapon shop because it says God. It says machine and gun. Hello, machine sh weapon shop. You sell uh, mithril rods and weapons for people who aren't here. Now listen, I like the people who aren't here. Also, I kind of feel stupid for buying those Titan bangles because there's already an upgrade for them before we had a chance to equip them in the first place. Good job. Hug. But anyway. This 
Circle Master, that's a good way to deal with goblins and chocobos. Keep zapping them with lightning. They keep uh, curing themselves. Okay, so I don't have any money, and also there's a plot-relevant item that requires me to have money, so let's be judicious with our money. Hey, you. You don't, you don't want to hear any complaints. All right, fine. I'll come back for your plot-relevant item that requires money later. Jeez. You still should hold on to your money. I'm pretty sure there is. I should. Another item that you'll need. There are also side quest relevant items that require money, come yeah. to think of it. <laughs> how, how much of that side quest do you know off the top of your head? Because I don't want to make people yes. Google shit, but... I know all of it. Oh, good. We can quickly bang out that side quest. It makes for oh, a yeah. funny result resolution. Hi there. This is the mansion of Don Horneo, the most powerful man in Wall Market. Look, he's he's not into men, so <laughs> that that apparently means no dudes allowed in the building, just because Don Corneo doesn't want to boink them. Well, I mean, the only guys allowed in are his crew, and you're obviously not part of the crew, and you're not a hot chick. So I suppose. Okay, so what he's really saying come to think of it, is nobody's allowed in who's not part of the crew unless they're a hot chick. Exactly. He could have just said that. But instead he was like, no dudes! He said it Girls in that tone only. of voice too. Yeah, don't. And Aerith is like, I'll go in there I'll go on invest. my own. That, that seems dumb. Like a, <laughs> I'm going to go into the pimp's house all by myself. That seems I like a bad a, idea. I got a stick and, and and noodle arms. I'll be fine. Yeah, that I seems totally like a know what I'm doing. It seems like a bad idea, Aerith. Clown comes like, off as kind of a dickbag sometimes, what with the whole, I don't want to get help from a girl thing. But in this instance, it's a little bit like, well, maybe it's dangerous in there on account of the whole uh, sex traffickers. <laughs> like, now Clown is coming at it from a moral angle, which is wrong, but y you maybe shouldn't go in there un uh, unescorted on account of the whole, you know, sex traffickers. I, no, I can't go in there, oh boy. Oh, well, now we are, we're in a real dilly of a pickle, tea flower mm. It's a bad idea to send Aeriths in there all by herself, but Clown can't get in there because he's a dude. And he can't just, like, break the door down because everyone will go absolutely ape shit. I mean, yeah. what the fuck is he supposed to do? There are, like, probably multiple dozen sex traffickers in there. It's not like Clown could easily wipe the floor with everyone in the building or mm -hmm. anything. So... But I mean, Boy. to be fair, if he breaks in to rescue T-Fall, maybe they'll hurt T-Fall. That's also a thing worth considering. Another reason why he just simply can't get in. I'm gonna turn down the CPU audio just a skosh, so hopefully it sounds a little bit better now. Aerith, meanwhile, is laughing and has come up with a ridiculous solution! Because of course. Because of course. Oh! Sonny's kitty's caught and released a mouse. Oh. It's an unwitting plaything! Oh, Aer don't Don't build the friend up, Aeriths. Don't. Okay. And now they've done the RPG thing of, oh, I'm inside you, you can't argue with me anymore. <laughs> like, the discussion is just over because Aerith's is back in the party. And now we must... Well, now we must indulge in some of the lesser portions of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, that's the fun part. First, to the dress shop! Hey, thanks for watching. Here's the upload schedule. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Bye.